So it is Tuesday morning and I decided to go for another little test hike here, just to make sure my legs and everything's all set. Kind of, it's less than a month away from my upcoming fall trip. So pretty excited about that. I got about 60 pounds on my back right now. So it's kind of my normal sort of hiking around sort of weight. And I figured I'd use this as an excuse to do a little video where I talk about dark cloths. This is something where when I first got in a large format, I didn't really think much of it. Just thought, you know, something like a pillowcase, you know, <laughs> something like that where I could uh, throw the camera so I can see the ground glass. But I've since learned that, you know, they serve a greater purpose than just that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up my camera. I'm gonna show you the two different dark cloths I've used. Talk about the pros and the cons of each of them. Kind of give you a feeling for what I found works best in the field. So this is a dark cloth that I've used since 2009. I've used this both on the Arca Swiss as well as on my Ebony camera. This is the Beyond the Zone System dark cloth. What's really nice about it is it's very compact, which is great. It has this nice elastic band on the back, which goes around just about any camera. This is the eight x 10 variety. They also make it in a four x five variety. Um, but whether you have knobs on the side or anything like that, it's very generous, goes around. It seems to be just the perfect size for both of the cameras that I've used it on. The only time when this gets a little bit tricky is on the ebony camera if I'm using some rear movements. Uh, so if I do a little rear tilt and the bottom of the camera kind of goes like this, um, when the bottom of the camera kind of moves inward, it has a little bit of a hard time gripping on it, but you can just put it around the whole back of the camera and that tends to work pretty well. Some of the features on this, it has this uh, white sort of rubberized material on the outside, which also does shed water. So you can use this as a rain cover if you need to. Um, it's a pretty compact dark cloth. This is the full size right here. And it has a pretty unique design where there are some Velcro on the bottom here. Because on some cameras, you really need to uh, seal up that Velcro because it helps to prevent light from bouncing up from the ground up onto the ground glass, which kind of kills the contrast, which makes it kind of hard to see. Uh, the Arca Swiss is just fine in that regard, um, but the Ebony camera really needs all the help it can get because the standard ground glass is really not all that great. Uh, so the downside of this one is that if you're, if you're working with your camera during the winter time, you can't breathe under this because you're going to fog up that ground glass. Um, so I will literally kind of like take a breath, go under the, under the dark cloth, kind of work, and then kind of go out of it, breathe, and go back again. Uh, but that's really the real downside of it. Um, and then the next one I'm going to show you, which is the, uh, the Harrison cloth. Um, that one works a little bit better in the winter time and also you can kind of cover up the whole camera with it in the event of rain. So I'm going to show you that one up next. So this is the other dark cloth that I use. This is from Camera Essentials. This is the Harrison Silver Classic dark cloth. This is the 8x10 size and gives you a feeling for how big this really is. It's very lightweight materials. It's a very silvery material on one side and then black on the other. And the silver material will break down in time. Um, you have I don't know, maybe like five, six years, something like that before it'll kind of start to break down. You want to make sure careful that you store these in an area that's not really hot. Um, and I had one of these previously and eventually the materials began to break down. But that being said, there are some major advantages to this style of design where I think it's very worthwhile, even though you know that at some point those materials are going to break down. So as far as the design of it, um, it's basically a big square. And then at this, uh, this right here represents the, the front of it. Uh, there's some elastic right there, and then you have Velcro here, and you have Velcro here. And as opposed to the Beyond the Zone System cloth, where you just kind of right go around the back of the camera, uh, this can go over the entire camera. So I'll show you, just bring it over the top here, just like this, and then I can just secure the Velcro there at the base. So this is very adaptable to go over a whole variety of cameras. And what's nice is that you can actually work while you're underneath the dark cloth. Um, so if I show you how big it extends at the back here. So that is the full size of it. So I have the ability to be underneath the dark cloth. I can see the ground glass really good. I can actually insert film holders. I can pull dark slides so I can protect uh, the film holders from any light if there's any chance of having any leaks. When I went on my spring trip, I was using some brand new film holders from Chamonix. I didn't quite have that level of trust with them yet, so I want to kind of guard them as I was pulling dark slides. And I didn't have this cloth with me. I had the Beyond the Zone System cloth. 
So I'd actually throw my jacket over the top of the camera so I can insert those film holders, pull those dark slides, put them back in as I was actually in um, you know, subdued light. Um, what's also really nice about this is that this doubles really nicely as a rain cover. So if it's raining out, the silver material will shed water, which is really nice. And if I put the Lee hood on the front of my camera, I can actually secure around that. Um, that way, you know, it's actually gonna have a really nice tight seal. And I can leave the camera set out for a really long time in the rain without any issues of water getting in there. But what's also nice is the fact that I can actually use the camera in the rain. Uh, I can work under here, I can do exposures, I can work with everything, which is really nice. The Beyond the Zone System one, in an emergency, I can cover a camera if it's raining, but I can't have it covered and work with the camera at the same time. So that's one of the advantages to this guy right here. So even though this is a little bit of a larger cloth, it's a very similar weight to the Beyond the Zone System. And I think this is going to more and more become my sort of standard dark cloth, just because it serves multiple purposes. It packs down pretty darn small, which is nice. But I like the fact that it doubles as a rain cover and also allows me to work with the camera itself while the cloth is still on. But either one would do really good. And uh, that's why I have both because they both come in handy at various times.